After uh, a long time of debating and negotiation between myself and I, I'm gonna dye my hair black. Yeah. I've had red hair for five years. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moody46. We're back again with another video today. We're at home today, for once. Now, most of you guys know, I mean, as you've probably seen in my last videos, my hair's red. I've had my red hair for like about five years now. I feel like it's like natural on me now at this point. If I was ever born with any hair, it would probably be red. Also, by the way, it's like 7 a.m. in the morning. So if I look like I'm naturally beautiful, it's because it's 7 o'clock. One thing about having black hair is people don't even know that it's me. I turn out like a completely different person. And I think it's also because people have been so used to the red, like I've had it for so many years that they probably can't like imagine me with any other color. I did it one time two years ago um, for like not even a month. It was around the same time as this actually, around like October time. But yeah, I realized it was a good time to do it just for a bit. I'm excited and uh, nervous at the same time. I always like to do a blue black instead of just like a flat black. Do you know how long ago I bought these boxes? A month or two ago. And I kept saying I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it, I never did it. But now, we are gonna do it. Also, this is like a shirt of mine that I spilled coffee on and it will the stain is not going away. So we're gonna use this to dye my hair black. Very good, right? But anyways guys, let's get started. Stay tuned for the results, guys. I promise I'm not gonna look the same at all let me know if you like the red better or the black better stay tuned make sure to like and subscribe as always moody 46 and i'll catch you guys later once i brush out my hair you guys are gonna see how fluffy my hair is it's like literally this big This is, by the way, not my hair texture. After I showered, I put it up in a bun. It still curls up, so my hair is naturally curly. It's a lot more curlier than this, but I knew I was gonna dye it today, so after I showered yesterday, I just put it up in a bun to make it a little less curly, so I can work with it a little bit easier. All right, here's my poof, guys. I think I've ever shown my poof on freaking camera before. You guys didn't think I looked like this in real life, did you? I don't think so. This is what I call my um, pride and joy. All right, so now I'm gonna prep the color. Okay, so I'll answer some more questions as I prep this color. We'll say like why I chose red hair. I don't know, I just, I fell in love with the color and ever since like I just thought like this is me, I um, kept dyeing it red. I only switched to black one time and it was for about like, I told you guys a month. I went back to red because I'm like, I can't do this for that long. So this is probably going to be the same scenario here. My red hair dye, by the way, is not the same as this. I use a semi-permanent color. Um, so I don't usually use permanent colors like this. So let's just read the instructions just to be sure. Pretty familiar. But this has like three tubes instead of uh, two plus the conditioner. So I'm just gonna see. Oh, look at that. It comes with black gloves. Okay, so the color, the color refresher, you use it after two weeks and then after four weeks, I guess it just refreshed the color. So we're gonna leave that in the box. The conditioner, we'll leave that in the box too. So. Yeah, same shit. I thought the color refresher was like, I don't know, some nice shit, but I guess not. You know what? I'm gonna double glove just to be sure, even though I already brought my gloves. I'm gonna use their gloves in case my gloves get ripped. Because that has happened before, and with red, I couldn't even tell you how messy red is. It's literally like a freaking crime scene. Like if somebody ever walked in on someone, someone's washroom that has red hair, they would automatically think you're like a serial killer because it's just so fucked. Okay, we're gonna mix these two 
So one box is definitely not enough for me, and this is exactly why I bought two. But I'm gonna use whatever I have, and then when I'm done, I'll open up the other box. Okay, so we're giving her a really good mix here. In the beginning, it looks like, there you go, you can kind of see it. It looks like a yellow transparent color. So I'm not really gonna see how it looks like until it actually uh, builds on my hair. But yeah guys, here we go. I always start dyeing my hair with one half starting from the top and then I work my way through. I do this so often that I'm so used to it. So I never, I thought I never really miss any spots. Obviously the struggle is you doing the back. Let's get this um, little fucking poodle thing done. So basically I start with this half and I go I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. One eternity later. Oh my god. Every time I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like about to start, I like I start crying on the inside. Eventually. I just built up so much like mm, to just do this. First strand. And I feel like it's not even going to come out as blue black. It's going to come out as purple because I have red hair. Pretty sure that's how it's gonna go, but let's just, you know, see how it goes. I'm gonna get the camera now and I'll come back in a little bit once I'm like halfway or more done. Okay, guys, so we're about halfway done. I basically finished the first uh, box, which I expected. This is what it looks like so far, so it's pretty blue black. I think I should just rock like a half-half look to be honest. You know, like those cards that are like half wrapped. That's what the color looks like. It looks like a pretty nice color. Like I would have guessed it to turn into a more purple shade rather than just like a blue because of the, uh, the red that's underneath. So I'm not surprised and I'm not mad either. Okay, so now I'm just mixing in the second box. God, this smells like shit, man. So I'm gonna put this up in a little twisty that's what I usually do. Stop, there we go. So as you can see, whatever section I finish, I just wrap it around the other section. Um, we're almost done. As you guys can see, I kind of brush it as I um, put the dye on so that it gets every strand. There you go, guys. We did it. Oh my god, my neck is blue. This was probably the messiest hair dye application I've ever had in my life. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna wait like 40 minutes and then we're gonna wash it off and I'll come back and show you the final results. Bye. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I love the way this turned out. It's so pretty. Like I told you, I look really different in black. I don't think anyone's gonna know who I am. It has a really nice shine to it and the color is blue-black as you can see here. I love the way it turned out. I think it's a whole completely different look and to be honest the only two looks I would go for is the black and the red. This is gonna be the new Moody E46 for the next little while but as far as how long I'm gonna keep this for I have no idea. That's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it but yeah let me know what you guys think and as always make sure to like and subscribe Moody E46 and I'll catch you guys later.